Greetings and welcome to Grumpy Old Man. This is where I'm going to moan about things to really have no relevance in life whatsoever. But I just think that I find stupid. So here we go. Ankles. Now I know what you're thinking. What? But yes, I'm being deadly serious. Deadly serious. Because this is a serious matter. What do I mean by ankles? It's this weird and wonderful trend of buying trousers that are too short for you. It's like you've only just discovered you've got ankles. It's like you've been walking around all this time and all of a sudden, hey, what's this? Or maybe it's to let other people know you've got ankles. It's like, my God, what? You've got ankles! Am I? Yes! Oh, I don't know. I mean, what the fuck? Just buy a pair of trousers, a fit. And you know, because there was two types. You've got like the, the skinny jean ankle show up. Which isn't as bad. You know, they come down to sort of down here and then you can see, you know, you've just got ankle. Or of course, if you're really trendy, the Nike sock. Oh yeah, the Nike sock. Yeah. God, sexy. <laughs> but the worst one, the worst ones, are the ones that sort of have the, the baggier fit. And they're sort of rolled up and they're just sort of there, flapping away. I mean, I'm sorry. But just no, just stop. Just stop. Just don't. Because it looks fucking horrendous. No, I know, I look a mess anyway, but that's beside the point. I'm getting old. You know, I've got purple hair and an animal hoodie. What do I, you know? It's, but I, you know, to be fair, I've never been a, a dedicated follower of fashion. But even I know uh, that looks fucking shocking. It's like, what is it all about? It's like, look, look, I've got ankles. Oh, Jesus. oh, stop it. Stop showing me your ankles. I mean, are we living in the 1950s again? It's like, oh, stop, oh, my ankles. Oh, my God. Oh, coming in. Oh, fuck, she's got ankles. Oh. The fuck's that all now? But let's meet one from. Ooh. So, I just get carried away thinking about ankles. Just oh. anyway, let's move on. <laughs> Social media know it alls. Now these are the people that take a snippet of something and then pass it off as absolute fact without giving you the entire picture. You know. Do you get a lot of this on TikTok? People are like, look, this has happened! Well, in actual fact, it hasn't. Or it's like a small part of the story. It's just like, you know, I mean, just, I mean, do people actually fall for this shit? I mean, what the fuck's that all about? It's like, well, this said that. Well, no, they didn't say that. Or, you know, you've got the, the phone warrior who is, is, you know, videoing police brutality and take like a 30 second clip of what is probably an incident that's been going on for god knows how long and it's just like i mean do you not think that people are out looking looking at you and going hmm i'm not sure. or the best one the best one is when someone tries to pass something off that happened months ago and something that's just happened not realizing that either the date is in the background or the background is obsolete and has changed completely since that was, you know, it's just such a... Why do you have, you know, I mean, it's just, you know, I, I can get on board with debate and argument and people disagreeing and having different opinions and everything else, but don't try and pass off something that either isn't relevant, is complete bullshit, 
all happened months ago and try and say, look, they've just done this. I mean, clearly, it's clear that they haven't. I'm sorry, but just no. We will not stand for this kind of behaviour. It's just not cricket. So we're only going to do three of these. We're going to do these in groups of three. So let's move on to our final one. Americans. <laughs> I'm not all Americans. I'm not going to insult an entire country. Well, at least not today. You know, I mean, I've been to America a couple of times, and the two times I went, I met some lovely people who didn't seem completely and utterly insane. However, that being said, there seems to be a lot of shall we say, social media activity of Americans and it, it is predominantly English, it's not all, well, I say English, British, sorry, uh, uh, but not predominantly, not only British, but uh, predominantly British, correcting them uh, speaking English or even worse more basically asking them why they don't speak their own language uh, why why British people are speaking English when uh, that was that's clearly the Americans language they seem to not be able to comprehend that the reason it's called English is because it derives from this island <laughs> And as part of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and being British and then obviously as you become inwards, obviously different countries because obviously, you know, like, you know, obviously Wales, they have Welsh and all that and obviously you've got, um, other, you know, it, it's just, it's, oh, it's it just, it, oh. it's not called American. It's called English. Stop correcting us. We know how to speak it. You are the ones that took it and then butchered it. It will not stand, good people. It will not. No. No, I tell you. It's just not cricket. No, sir. Now... It's 11 o'clock at night. If it wasn't, then I would be off to have some bean from taste, because apparently you don't like that either. But failing that, I'm just going to have to bid you a good view, sir. I would doff my cap, but we're indoors, so one cannot wear a cap. So for now, this is a grumpy old man saying I'll catch you another time. Jet plane headed up to the sky Spread wings and the clouds getting